Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel where we talk about real crimes and real people. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell button and give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And what do I have for you today? Today I bring you the story of the death of a baby boy named Bobby Louch. This case came to my attention and was suggested by one of you, Anna Mello. You asked for it, here it is. Everybody has the right to have their story heard. And in this case, let me tell you, when I read about it, it made me sick and angry. This is the story of a little boy who was punched and kicked by his own mother and the attacks were so vicious, this poor little boy died from the injuries he suffered. Could have this been preventable? Let's see what happened. Let's get started. Bobby Louch was born on March March 5th, 2007 in England. His parents were Dan Louch and Colette Harris. Up until October 2008, Dan and Colette were a couple, but Colette then decided to end their relationship with Dan because of a new man, James Phillip, a drug addict. Friends later stated Colette was completely smitten by James and that her behavior started to change ever since she started seeing James. Bobby started to present some injuries when he visited his father Dan. His father noticed a bruise on Bobby's head. He inquired Colette about it and she told Dan Bobby had hit his head on his bed. And for Dan, it seems, he didn't have any reasons not to believe. But I've raised a question. The mother of your child leaves you for another man who has issues with drugs. Your child shows up with bruises and it doesn't make you wonder. Well then, moving on. Early December 2008, Bobby went to the hospital. He had hurt his leg. Colette told the hospital staff Bobby was a clumsy boy and that he had jumped off the couch. The staff were suspicious because recently a boy had died because of child abuse. So they were on high alert. In the case of Bobby, the staff decided to do a full abuse child exam. Besides the broken ankle, Bobby had bruises on his head. After the exam, the staff concluded Bobby's injuries were accidental and he was sent home with a plaster on his leg. So Colette, who was sure afraid of being accused of abusing her child, asked Dan to keep Bobby for a week because she needed, wait for it, a break. Yes, you heard it. She needed a break from her child. So Bobby stayed with his father from the 16th of December to December 27. Dan, Bobby's father, stated Bobby because he was older now. He was much more aware of what was happening during Christmas and that Bobby enjoyed opening his Christmas presents. But this would soon be over. In a matter of days, Dan Louch would receive the worst news of his life. His boy, in a few days, would be dead in the most cruel and brutal way. Bobby went back to his mother care on December 27th with no bruises. But this didn't last long. On December 28th, a friend of Colette's, after noticing a mark on Bobby's chest, asked Colette if she wasn't going to take Bobby to the hospital. And Colette said no, because if she did, they would accuse her of abusing her son. Bobby was kicked in the stomach on Saturday. He was sick on Sunday, vomiting and looking disorientated. He had a burn mark on his right hand. On Monday morning, a neighbor heard a baby murmuring mommy. Later that day, December 29th, 2008, Colette Harris called an ambulance stating her baby wouldn't wake up. The paramedics arrived at Bexley Heath, South East London. They tried to help Bobby, but Bobby was already dead. At the hospital, Colette told Dan she hadn't done it. She tried to blame her boyfriend James Phillips, who was 25 years old, from Erith, Kent. Colette was questioned and gave several versions of what had happened. But the thing is, there's one thing that never change, and that is the truth. Colette Harris was charged with the murder of Bobby Louch. She denied killing or hurting Bobby and complained she was being attacked. The prosecution stated at the time of his death, Bobby was covered in bruises and that the injuries were the result of deliberate and repeated violence. Bobby Louch had two broken ribs bleeding on his spine, 
severe damage to his abdomen, which included the liver, intestines, and pancreas. Bobby had a massive brain damage. He had a burned hand, supposedly from touching an oven door. There were over 80 different bruises and injuries, some old, some new. His injuries were consistent of being punched and kicked in the stomach and head. Injuries usually seen from a car crash. Imagine this, this boy was 21 months old. The jury found Colette Harris guilty and she was sentenced to life in prison with mandatory 16 years before the possibility of parole. Colette screamed and collapsed when she heard the verdict and she kept saying she didn't touch her son. James Phillips, he was found not guilty of all charges related to the death of Bobby Louch. He was actually arrested on drug related charges. Bobby's father Dan stated he looked for signs. Colette explained the injuries by saying Bobby was hitting his head on the bed. But Dan actually remember every time Bobby misbehaved, he would cower and cover his head when Dan approached him. A review was made and it was concluded the hospital should have done a referral, even though Bobby wasn't a subject to a children protection plan. The hospital relied on what Colette said and dismissed the boy. The report stated the death was neither predictable or preventable. I have questions in this case, but I I'll probably keep them to myself because this was tragic and every single adult in Bobby's life failed. And here's my opinion. This is what I think happened, allegedly. Colette found this new guy, but the thing is she had baggage, Bobby. And allegedly, I believe, she wanted to have a life with James, but she saw Bobby as an inconvenience that was always in the way and she most likely wanted to start over. She just didn't want that boy over there. My bet is every time Bobby cried or did something that annoyed James or Colette, Colette would punch or kick Bobby to stop annoying her allegedly. I'm not convinced on James's innocence. I think there's something there allegedly always. This is a sad situation. I still believe that even though humans can reproduce themselves, there's a lot of them out there who shouldn't and Colette was one of them. Should Colette spend the rest of her natural life in prison or should she be able to start over? It is most likely Colette Harris will be set free, but Bobby Louch is gone forever.